Hello everyone, my name is Plasma Muffin, and welcome back to Hyperlight Drifter. In this episode, we will apparently be using the mouse because my controller isn't working. Wait, don't you have to, like, turn it on or something? Yeah, that's not working. Whatever. We'll, we'll do that for a bit. Oh, now it's working. That's odd. Still kind of want to show the uh, keyboard controls, so let's. Let's do that. Alright, so. Yes, I am back with this series. I've not abandoned it. Oh, yes, this is the door we cannot open. Secret. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Many weeks. It has been many moons since I last enjoyed entertainment from this product. So it's a lot easier to aim with the mouse because you can just shoot at whatever you want to shoot at. Oh yeah, the dashing. Where is the dash type? Let's change that to mouse direction. There we go. Now I'll dash at the mouse. It's a little confusing, but it allows for better accuracy usually. So where are we trying to go here? Okay, looks like we want to get ourselves over here. So we want to go up and to the left. Doesn't seem possible right now. <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of videos recently. Just noticed that today. <laughs> also, all those weird sounds I keep hearing, that's because my nose is all plugged up, so... Okay, that wasn't quite what I wanted, but I'll take it. Oh right, I forgot about that. It's nice to not have a controller buzz when I get near those. I know, there's just something that feels wrong about the controller vibrating. Maybe it's just because I've lived my whole life without using one, but... It just feels wrong, you know? Like something's messing up. Like when my phone vibrates, that usually means that it's on a web page that's got a virus on it and they're trying to trick me into clicking on a link. Congratulations, Plasma Muffin! You have won something. A free virus! Split. Actually, this is a good opportunity to show something if I can find a good spot. Okay, uh. Is this a good spot? Alright, here we go. See this? You know those little dash pads back at the town? Where you dash as many times as you can in a circle and, uh... Try and... Get a lot of dashes? Well, you can actually just go back and forth on one of the pads. You just put the mouse on the pad, and then hit the space bar right intervals every, like, I don't know, third of a second or so, and, uh, just dash back and forth, you don't have to worry about aiming, so you can use that to get a really high number. You need 800 to unlock this special thing. Bugs me that I gotta waste those, but... Um, why did that use my big slash? It just kind of stopped. See how efficient it is to shoot this way? Way, way better. You can actually aim. 
It's gonna be nice for the boss of this area. Hopefully we'll be able to kill the boss in this episode. It's weird that the people vanish when you destroy the crystal they're in, but then they come back when you... ...when it reforms, so that's odd. I may be treading old ground or whatever the saying goes, but... Ooh, here we go, got some story. Cat shot a laser at a giant. The giant froze them. And it froze too. But you got out of the froze. Cool. Cool story, bro. Is this where we need to go? No. How do we get there? I have absolutely no clue. Okay, cool. Let's just keep continuing on this path because... I have not played this game in 11 years. By the way, uh, something that you may be interested in knowing is that I have actually... I'm actually working on learning to make games myself. You probably know that I tend to critique, i.e. criticize them a lot. And... Uh, so I have tons of ideas. So, um, yeah, making games is something I've been wanting to do for a while. And I finally found a program that works well for me. It's called Stencil. It's basically like a simpler version of Unity, if you've ever used that, if you know what that is. I actually found it because it turns out that was what Hollow Knight was originally being made in. At some point they switched to Unity, but originally it was being made in Stencil. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's sort of like coding, but all the code is in little blocks and you can just put the blocks together. And depending on what order you put the blocks in, it'll do different things, so it makes it a lot easier to understand. You don't have to worry about punctuation or trying to figure out what the command you need is called because you could just scroll through until you find what you want. Ayo, I think this is the last one. But yeah, it's pretty great. scenes and stuff. The story is not really told very clearly, but it's very cool. Sort of like the... It's almost like the computer game equivalent of a poem, isn't it? Can't really tell what's going on. It doesn't make sense, but it's cool. You know? Uh, how do I open that? Should be a switch somewhere. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, I've learned to make my own games. I'd be making much faster progress if I wasn't, um... Like, I haven't had a lot of motivation lately. Which is why I'm taking so long to make the videos. But, um... When I do have motivation, it's a fun... It's a fun thing to learn. The main problem is that, like, sometimes it won't work and I'm... That's awesome, they just get splatted. It won't work and... You can't tell why, but, like, by all rights, it should work, because you did everything right, and then, when it, and then, like, sometimes it, like, hang on a sec. Okay. 
but uh, sometimes it like um, trying to multitask here like for example uh, something I'm working on right now is I'm making a character making it so it can go left and right and jump right well you have to program it so you can only jump when you're on the floor otherwise you can just jump infinitely and basically fly well the problem is I copied and pasted the code from a different game I had made I could call it a game it's more of a project and I just changed the name of the variable if you don't know what that is it's not important I changed the name of something and the name can be whatever you want it to be and suddenly not only does it not prevent you from not, not only does it not give you only one jump, like, you, th you think that either it would give you, um, like, either you'd be able to jump infinitely or you wouldn't be able to jump at all. Ideally, it should give you one jump, but instead, it gives you two. Like, you can jump and then you have a double jump, like in Hollow Knight or almost any other game that has a double jump in it. But... For some reason, it gives you two double jumps, and I cannot, for the life of me, figure out why that is. So, yeah. That's the annoying thing, in that, like, you look at the code, and you can tell what each piece of code does, so you can figure out that the way you built it, it should work a certain way, and then it doesn't, and that is so annoying. If any of you are programmers, you'll know that, you'll understand. I've done actual programming before, like with the... What's wrong with Like with Java and Python and C and stuff. I'm not as good as I'm making it sound like I am. If I am making it sound like I'm... If I am making it sound like I am good at programming. I'm also not good at talking either, apparently. But, yeah, I'm not very good at it. I only did the very basic stuff. Python was the most helpful for me, so if you do want to get into programming, I would recommend starting off with Python. Actually, I would recommend starting off with Stencil. Because, oh right, these guys can freeze in the blocks too. That is super cool, I forgot about that. But yeah, if you ever want to get into programming, I would recommend just starting up with Stencil because it's simple, it's... Oh my gosh, just move, Pat, thank you simple, it's easy to understand, and you can see results immediately, which is not something you get with normal programming. And then after that, after that, if you still want to learn, like, normal programming, not just making games and stencil, then I would recommend just going to Python, because that'll help teach you the basics and get you used to some simple types of programming before you try and learn the more complex stuff. Because once you learn the basics, then the rest of it you learn a lot faster, so the more you learn, the easier it is to learn more. But, um, stencil, or er, Python, the basics are a lot easier to learn than in other languages. So I would strongly recommend that you start with Python as a programming language. But, uh, yeah, if you just want to make games, then use Unity or Stencil or something. I've never used it, but Unity is probably better just because it's more popular and so there's probably a lot more support for it. But the stencil forms have actually been really good. Aha! I love doing that, it's so fun. Like if you if you post a new thread on the stencil help forums, and say, hey, I'm stuck, I wanna do this, how do I do this? Then within like a day you'll get an answer, usually sometimes multiple answers. So it's pretty active despite being just a small programming game making tool that's um... I don't know, I think, I'm pretty sure it's still being developed. But I don't think it's had an update in a while. So yeah. So yeah, it's pretty great. That's, that's what's been going on with my life. Wow, I've got a lot of triangles. If only I could find some way to use them. Like by finding the boss. The heck is the boss anyway?
This game is fun, but it feels like the controls and movement feel a little choppy sometimes. Hollow Knight feels a lot more fluid. If you know what I mean. But, uh, it's a pretty great game. Ah, here we go. But this is where I'm supposed to go. This just takes me to the same area. Okay, it doesn't. Aha! This is such a cool place, this valley. Just look at that, that's awesome, huh? I want to use that as, like, the thumbnail for this episode. I might. It just depends. I still don't understand these things. What exactly am I doing? Looks like I'm dashing up them, but... I don't know, it's still kind of weird. Like, can I just use a ladder? I feel like that'd be easier. Or a ramp. That'd work, too. Okay, where does this elevator go? Ah, sweet, it goes down there so we can head right back. Oh, right! I think this opens up a shortcut. This is a Metroidvania game, after all. I didn't even know what that meant until I played Hollow Knight. Yeah, this is the spot. So... How have I not been there before, then? I don't know. Maybe it's this, this, uh... Almost a teleport. Maybe this elevator is only accessible from the other side. That might be it. Okay, go up there. <coughs> it's always fun trying to get through the spikes and jumping directly off the ledge. I have. I've been here before. I've totally been here before, right? I could have sworn I've been here before. Well, I mean, I've been here before, but I mean this game. Oh, look at that. Door that requires three triangles to open. Shame we have five, but we could open that. I'm just kidding, we can open it. It's three minimum, not exactly three. That would suck. An interesting Easter egg, though. The music for this game is pretty great, too. I enjoy it. Just gotta wait for my energy to recharge. Need more energens. Just hope it can bounce off the walls. Sometimes they do that. Just wait for him to dash up to me and then shoot him right in the face, point blank. That's awesome. Uh, I was hoping I could hit him there. These aren't cats, by the way. They're raccoons. I think I've mentioned that before, but in case I haven't. They look like cats, but they're raccoons. We have a secret up here. I'm not like a genius at finding secrets. I already knew these were all up here. I'm not that great at finding secrets in this game. I'm okay, but I miss a lot of them. The only reason I'm so, uh, the only reason I like started out knowing so much about this game was because I watched Derpo's playthrough of it before I played it. Walk into the spikes, walk into the spikes, walk into the spikes, walk into the spikes. Come on, walk in the spikes, walk in the spikes. There ya go, good boy. Trigger the spikes, grab the thing, and run. <clears throat> run. There we go. This dude is not walking into the spikes, he's taking a walk. Rude. Don't ignore me when I'm trying to kill you. Make your mom ever teach you basic manners, good grief for you. Raised in a barn. This game is... It looks so good. Like, the art style is just incredible. It just goes to the show that you don't need insanely high-def graphics and 
perfect shadows and ray tracing to make a game that looks good. No matter what kind of technology we get for for games, it's gonna people are gonna still they're gonna be people complaining about the graphics. Funnily enough, a lot of games actually look better than real life. Where's the thing? I wish... I wish there was a thing where, like... Because you can only do the hold down E thing on one side. Like, here, if you hold down E, it tells you exactly where it, the path is. But you can only do that from one side. So, from the other side, you just kind of have to guess, which is annoying. I guess you're expected to already know where the stuff is, but still... Alright, where is the boss? I want to get closer to the boss. The boss is pretty close. I think. Alright, here we go. And then... So... Okay. Splat. So now I think we've got... How long have I been recording? Let me check. 21 minutes. Um... Ah! Just minimize the window so I could see how long I've been recording. Get a real smooth move there, dude. I just dashed directly into the wall and got hurt. Alright, well, I'm just gonna find a stopping point. Stop recording. Because I think this episode has gone on long enough. Oh my gosh, I keep doing the wrong one. I don't know why. I think the reason Hollow Knight feels more fluid than this game is because with this game, every time you do something, there's a quick pause. Like you hit something and it freezes for just a split second. That happens in Hollow Knight too. You get hit, but not when you hit things. I just don't like it. That worked out better than I thought it would. I have a lot of gear bits. I can bit all of the gears. Get all the upgrades. It's not too much in the way of upgrades that we can get now. Mostly just like stat upgrades, like more health packs, more. Machine gun these dudes. What sound was that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, I'm out of practice, okay? I'm also not paying attention. Honestly, I'm not super intimidated by these dudes cause just because I've killed so many of them, but that doesn't mean they're not still dangerous. hold, this dash hold, slash hold, the charge slash, it does like 5 damage a hit, it's pretty great. And it costs very little energy comparatively. It's nice how when you die you just start over like, in the nearest screen, you don't have to go back to the last save point. So it'd be annoying if you did. It's a big area. See, I didn't have enough energy for that last one. Oh, there's my, uh... Dash through projectiles thing. Might as well show that. I don't have the select projectiles yet, that could be something to get for my next upgrade. So where do I go from here? Ah, he didn't run into it.
That's funny. That is funny. I love when stuff like that happens in games. It's just entertaining. I was hoping to fight the boss today, but... It didn't happen. This game is one of those games where you can still get lost, even when you've played it a million times, like I have. Just because the way the levels are laid out, it's not... Like, most games have, like, a... Sort of a square grid kind of thing. As opposed to, like, round grids. They got sort of a square grid kind of thing going for them, so, like... It's really easy to find your way around, but it's easy to get lost in some of these games. Hang on. Okay, I was trying to see if... The, uh... If the particles from... That your feet create when they skid. The kicking up dust particles. I was trying to see if those change direction based on the cursor location, but it looks like they don't, so that's cool. Cutting the flowers. Dodge the bullet there, but um... It's, it's what I call an anti-pun. It's where you use the literal version of a pun. Or, like, you use something that would normally be a pun, but in the exact circumstance that it's supposed to be used in. So that's fun. It's very pun, huh? huh. How do I get in here? Oh, I know how. I think. Yep. Here we go. Do you need all the gear bits to buy all the upgrades? I'm pretty sure you do. And they don't just put some in there just, like, as bonuses. Like, I was thinking that maybe they'd make it so you can upgrade, um, like, there's enough gear bits that the easy to find ones you can get all the upgrades with. And then, like, so if you can't find all the bonus ones, you can still get all the upgrades. But I don't think that's how it is. It won't really make sense to me anyway. Okay, I was gonna not fight the boss, but I'm thinking the next checkpoint I fight, find is probably gonna be at the boss. So I might as well do that. Oh! Huh? Double secret. That's cool. There's always another secret. Very cool. Please go in the thank you. Holy cow, there's another one of these things. Getting them like popcorn. We had like, what, two at the start of this? Yeah, I think we have two. And we've got six. Goodness snakes. Two more and we'll have all of them. That's awesome. Hi, where'd you come from? I say as if I wasn't watching. Um, where do I go from here? Okay, see this thing? I can't even tell what it is. Like, it looks sort of like a bed. Kind of splat. I'm getting pretty close to the dang... This map is terrible, honestly. It doesn't tell you how to get to the different spots, but whatever. Okay, seriously, is there no checkpoint? I think... I think the elevator that's close by, I think that is basically the checkpoint. But I just wanna... No, oh, hang on, hang on, whoop, change my mind. Because I'm too lazy to edit this insert change my mind meme here. Because I said change my mind. I'm just gonna say the memes out loud. That way people in the EU can still... Enjoy them. <laughs> hey, burbs. Okay, the boss is right here. I think what I'm gonna do is... Oh. 
that was not I thought there was more of a wind up to that than that. Okay, whatever. Well I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this off here and then when the start of the next episode I'm gonna fight and kill the boss. Hopefully kill it. Probably kill it. So that's it for now. I uh, hope you're enjoying this series. I don't I just say like generic intro outro stuff when I do my outros because I can't really think of what to say. Outros are hard. Bye.